morning, boys, and welcome to Henri to Glory, episode number eight. Now, this is a milestone epi, not simply because of the fact that we're going to be spending the most we ever have possibly on a player in this epi, but also we have ourselves for the first time in FIFA 18, our FIFA 18 Foot Champions monthly rewards. Now, you guys would have seen uh, in the episodes leading up to this, whenever I did a Foot Champs recap on a Monday or Tuesday, I was averaging about 21 to 22 wins, which was good enough for Gold 1 monthly, which guarantees us five red inform cards for any of the informs that came out over the course of October. These are all, these are all the informs we have a shot at in this these are all the informs we have a shot at, and we will be opening the five red inform pack in just a few seconds here as well. We will be opening up our weekly foot champs rewards, which we got 22 wins last weekend, and then also we had our elite squad battles rewards. Well, well, we all know that there's a better way of doing this. Hey, Larson. Uh, yes. Has it gotten in the Performance Institute? Uh, we are working on the deals. Alex. You have 26,000 points in squad battles. You're on track for an elite one finish. You have 342 games played. 267 goals and 179 seats with Baby on Lee. In the last episode, you packed Young on Lee. No way! And now you've got your first ever foot monthly rewards. Right. We're about to crack our first ever Gold 1 Foot Champions monthly rewards, which contains five red inform cards, like I said, as well as our Gold 2 weekly Foot Champs rewards. We're doing it on the Road to Glory account, so everything that you guys see that I pack is gonna have some, uh, is gonna have some implication and some effect on what we do in the squad. So if you guys are hyped for this first ever Foot Monthly Foot Champs rewards on the Road to Glory account, aka Henri to Glory, episode number eight, smash that like button. Let's try and crush something crazy like 6,000 likes. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Instagram and Twitter links are in the description below if you guys want to interact with me there. But without any further ado, boys, let's get into our Foot Champs rewards. Right. So we have our Gold 1 Foot Champions weekly rewards here, which we get this gold kit, which I'm never going to wear because people will back out versus you. And then we get the one gold, uh, the gold 1 Foot Champions pack. Oh, hold on a second. No, this is Gold 1 monthly. Okay, so we get that kit for the month. We get this pack for the month. But then we also get, per usual, which we've gotten four straight weeks in a row, we get ourselves Gold 2 Foot Champs rewards, which is 45,000 coins, two rare mega packs, and a rare gold pack. And if I'm being honest with you, I'm pretty happy with that. Would I like to have Gold 1 consistently? Yes, that's the aim of the series. You guys know it. That's what we're building towards. But uh, we have ourselves a brand new kit that is unsellable. We're not actually allowed to trade it. We're up to 150,000 coins with some things to sell now let's mosey on over to our uh, let's mosey on over to the store you guys will know that i am trying to build myself a premier league side so keep that in mind as you guys see me open these packs rare gold pack rare mega pack rare mega pack and then the gold one foot champions pack which contains five foot champion versions of any team of the week player through october and we are guaranteed not to get anything lower than 81 rated so that is kind of nice we're going to save that one as the last pack Last week, we actually got a pretty good poll. I'm forgetting who it was. Who was the player that we got in our Gold 1 pack? And it's not going to be... It's not going to be a fourth player. But as we know, most of the... A lot of the expensive players in the game. Krakowiak? Uh, no. Uh, dude. Zer, uh, Zielinski. The OP Napoli player, if you're looking for a cheap player, is one of the first pieces of advice I gave you guys when I started the series, was one of the first players that I signed for our Serie A side. And it is none other than Zielinski, uh, the Polish guy for... Um, for Napoli. We get Azmir, we get Azmoon, Sardar Azmoon, aka the Prince of Persia. Actually looks like he has a pretty decent card this year. 58 stamina is horrible, but uh, the Iranian Prince of Persia right there. We get Valdefori, and then we get some, uh, we get some fitness items. Honestly, probably the most important thing from this particular pack. Didn't get anything great. We get the Parc de Princes, uh, Parc de Princes Stadium, which uh, is something that we could possibly upgrade to, but the first pack, not great. Two rare mega packs, two 55k packs, and then our gold one foot champions pack. Question of the episode, you boys. Let me know in the comments what you guys have got. And it is not going to be a board player. Why do I get a really bad feeling about these rewards? German, right back. Joshua Kimmich. Come on, let's go. 81, Joshua Kimmich. Uh, usable if you put a shadow chem style on him. His inform, his 86 inform card is incredible. I've used him extensively. Really, really like that card. But this card, not so much. Boni, Zapata, Pizarro, Asare, Nosarino. Oh, wow. Again, contracts and fitness it helps the series big time. And then the Dortmund kit, which we can sell, which probably goes for a little bit. By the way, shout out Sporting. I, I just have a really bad feeling now that we got this, that uh, our player in the five red informs is going to be um, is gonna be Bastos, who is trolling even guys who are getting, you know, 15, 20 informs in a pack, uh, trolling them big time. We get Perez, which I would imagine Perez goes for a little bit. Hold on a second. Perez... 10,000 max. Okay, so it looks like he's going for maybe 
1500? Okay, so that's not bad. 1500, we get Pizarro, we get Donsa, Zapata, Wilfred Boney, my little Boney, and then Joshua Kimmich. Now, Kimmich doesn't have pace. He's got 70 pace for a right back. I doubt he's even going for a thousand coins. He's going for 2500. Okay, hold on a second. Not so fast. He's going for 2500. So, a nice little, nice little bit of, nice little bit of, uh, coinage in that particular pack. Don't think we. We're not balling out like we did in the first couple weeks, but it is always the second rare Mega Pack that we get something absolutely incredible. I have a feeling the board player is coming in this one. I can almost see it. I see the board. I see it! And it's not gonna be there. Come on! Pummels and Eber week one, and then Gilfie Sigurdsson! Everton Gilfie Sigurdsson, 82 rated. Our only hope is that maybe there's a duplicate Martial or a Hyungmin Son hiding in there. 82 Yuffie Sigurdsson. Probably our worst foot champs rewards unless there's something buried deep in there. And we get ourselves Filet Mignolet, we get Kane, we got Bachwai, Lyon, Dini who's been suspended, uh, Mishi Bachwai, Keen? Hold on a second. Keen actually could be a startable player for us. What is Keen going for? Keen's going for, okay, so he's going for about a thousand. You know what? If we were putting together a, a starter squad, for the Premier League, we got a lot of the pieces in here. Easily, I would say, and then we get the Sporting Awaken. They're, if, if that's not telling us that we're going to get Bastos in our, red, in our monthly uh, inform, in our monthly pack, I don't know what is. But we've got it right here, boys. Our first monthly Gold 1 Foot Champions pack. By this time next month, I am hoping that this is going to turn into an Elite 3 Foot Champions pack, which would guarantee us something like 10 or 12 of the red informs. Literally double what you get from Gold 1. But we are not going to delay things any further. Can we please... Get ourselves someone that is not Aspas or Bastos. I'm just asking for an 86 plus rated. Obviously, it's going to be a board. 86 plus rated. Come on. Belgian. Striker Chelsea. Wait a second. What? This shit about tries 83 rated card. Wait a second, boys. If we're putting our Premier League side together, that is actually beast. He is 100% a player that we could use in the in the Premier League squad. So it is 83 Mishi Bachwai. And uh, he, it is not an Aspas, it is not a Bastos, which I'm really, really happy about. 83, so that means we don't have anything higher than an 83 rated player in there. And I'm thinking to myself, what else could be in there that would be that would be usable in a Premier League side? Now, obviously, Gabriel Jesus is 84, so that's a little bit unfortunate. Now, I was hoping that maybe we got lucky and uh, get him. But we get ourselves 83 rated Mishi Bachwai. You guys will know I didn't give him a good score at, on the hat gun rating when we used him. So hopefully he improves a little bit. Let's see who else is in there. Lamont, Allison Greedy! Come on, boys! Allison Greedy and Aaron freaking Moy. Australia shout out. LA Galaxy French shout out and then Le Comte. So we've got Alison Drini who we can use as a super, star, uh, super sub. His card goes for something like 100k. Mishi Bachwai's 83 rated card. If we wanted to sell him for the series, if we wanted to buy him for the series, let's see how much that would actually cost us. He's definitely over 100k. Mishi Bachwai's 83 rated card goes for 48,000 coins. Hold on a second. Boys, I'm thinking in this epi, we build ourselves a Premier League stop. Now we have close to 300,000 coins, but I want to do something this weekend that's a little different than, it's a little bit different than what I thought I was going to do. So we've got the BPL side. These are all pretty much first owner. We got this Martial, uh, we got this Martial in our Elite 2 Squad Battles rewards last week. Everything else, we got Aaron Moy, obviously you guys just saw. Uh, he's untradeable. We got him in our Foot Champions Monthly, as well as Batshuayi. Most of these guys are, uh, most of these guys are pack pulled as well. We've got Gray, we've got uh, Chicharito, we've got Kuyate, who could very well actually start for us. We've got Krikoviak, some very nice defensive-minded midfielders but um, just missing a little bit of the attacking minded midfielder. So we got Van Anholt, which I think he would probably start for us, either him or Mendy or maybe Luke Shaw. And then on the right side, I think we would upgrade to a Bayerine, who I think goes for about five or six K. So as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and look at the coin total right now. We're at 297,000 coins after selling off our Bundesliga side. Now this does not mean that I won't ever use a Bundesliga side in future FIFA, uh, in, in the series going forward. There, there very well might come an inform or a really beast player or team of the season when we're thinking that far down the road that we might come back to the Bundesliga, but I decided to sell off everyone. We're currently hovering around 300,000 coins, sold off this Perisic, and if I'm being honest with you, I had a lot more hopes. I, I My hopes were a lot higher for this Screen Perisic card, and he just did not live up to it, especially even when he was boosted. The finishing was not great, was kind of looking for a, a cam to come in as a third striker, and Papu Gomez, if I'm being honest, was a much better player in that position. But anyway, boys, we have 300,000 coins, but I want to buy one player for the Serie A side that is going to take up every bit of that last 300,000 coins. 
Um, and then, you know, for example, if we got if we went with an Eric Bai and Van Dyke, that is that's 60, 70,000 coins right there already. If we went with a Bayerin, so we're talking to maybe like 70,000, I'd want to upgrade to a nice uh, Premier League midfielder. Now, I'm not going to rule out not doing that at some point during foot champs, but to kick things off in this episode, yeah, I think I'm just going to make a couple adjustments to the Premier League side, going to go into division, see how Martial plays, because I've not used Martial this year, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to make our huge signing for the Serie A side. One of the most, one of the younger up and coming talents in the Serie A. I'm gonna give you a hint. He plays for Juventus and he's a lot of coins in FIFA. And if he doesn't live up to it, it won't be a mistake because we'll still be able to most likely sell him on for that same amount of coins. But I will be disappointed if he is not a beast. So let's go ahead. Let's sign some players for the BPL side without breaking the bank. Make sure we have enough to sign the player that we want for the Serie A side. Los Gates. And we are gonna be signing. Hopefully we can find him for a good price. He's going for around 300,000 coins. The cheapest, in fact, that he goes for is 300,000 coins. We just spent 300,000 coins on a single player, and that is none other than 88 Paolo Dybala. We have 11,000 coins left to our name on the account. We are going to insert him into the... Uh, we're going to insert him into the, uh, the Serie A side right now, and I'm thinking that we're going to probably roll with the Serie A side at least for another weekend. Um and see if maybe he can do what that screen pair of six was not able to do. Let's see if he can be the difference maker. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous that we spent 300,000 coins, but if you're spending 300,000 coins on a player, I think you're hoping for stats like these. 85 finishing, 84 attacking positioning, 83 stamina, uh, 88 long shots, which is gonna be the most long shots we've had on a player uh, at the camp position. He's got passing, the only thing he doesn't have is uh, long passing, which isn't the end of the world. He's also got 88 curves, so if we want to, in mid game, we can pop Go uh, Papu Gomez as our cam slot and then take Vanessis for days from outside the box with Dybala, which is obviously one of the things that is broken this year. But this is how the Serie A squad is shaping up right now. We've got our Premier League side laid out on the bench here, as you guys can see, so we can manage our fitness that way. But uh, this is our brand new Serie A side with the, with the new signing. He's got the hyperlink of dreams into Gomez. We're going to go back to the Premier League side. Come on, boys. Okay, we get one for 6,300 coins. So we've got a Bayerin. So we've got the young Manchester Henri as well as as the baby icon Henri. We're gonna get into a division match right now. We're gonna see how this Martial card plays. I'm hoping for big, big things. And again, uh, depending on how the Serie A side plays early in foot champs, I may or I may or may not sell on that Dybala at some point during weekend league and then improve the BPL side. But what I'm thinking is maybe we stick with the, B uh, the Serie A side for another weekend. We can still hold on to that squad. And then um, depending on how that goes with that, we can make some improvements to the BPL side. Now we're gonna roll with our Oktoberfest kit, obviously. We are still in Division 9, and I said it in the last epi, we wanna try it, we wanna go further in divisions, it's just we have so many squad battles matches to play, and then foot champs rolls around. I don't actually have enough time to spam division matches, but I'm gonna make a concerted effort to do that. He's got that 83 Mishi Batrai, who we do have as a super sub, he's got gray, and then this, you know what? I wouldn't be opposed to running something like this. Like, this looks like a pretty decent squad. He's got the Manchester, he's got the City uh, de Neo, he's got, uh, He's got himself that uh, Davison Sanchez. He's got Dembele as a as a CDM, which is probably where I would play him. And then he's got a pretty potent strike force. But Magic Martial, I'm expecting the world from him. Let's see if he delivers. Young Martial is isolated. Skirtle here. Oh, with the yes! Finesse. Come on! Martial makes it look easy, boys. And are we doing an Expecto Patronus? That is how you christen a player, but a beautiful little finesse from Martial. That is hopefully what we're gonna be able to do with Dybala uh, in the Serie A side. Karius. Like comments, you would say, you know what? Never in a million years would you think to use this 82 Moy card, but he he does things like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What a run! Now I know some of you guys are probably thinking yourself, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta frame that. I'm literally gonna print that picture out of Henri and Martial hugging it out. And I'm framing that somewhere in the room. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I might just put it right there. One Direction in the crowd just absolutely stunned. You know what, let's bring off Martial and bring on Jose Calion and see if we can't get ourselves an early goal. That would bang out one of the daily objectives 
Um, see if we can make it a through pass because I think that would finish it as well. We also need to do a header goal, which would uh, which would do one of the which I believe would complete um, the weekly objective. I think we had to score four headers or something like that. So let's see if we can bang that out. Probably would have made sense to keep Martial in there if we did that though. Interesting little fact: Jose Caleon has a twin brother, Juanmi Caleon who hasn't been in FIFA since FIFA 13, and guess what? He's back in FIFA in FIFA 18, so that is someone that we could consider doing for one of the FIFA Family Feud Epis. Patricia! Oh, ever since we brought Martial, the ma uh, ever, since, ever since we took Martial off, the magic has been sucked out of the squad. You son of a bitch. I don't even know the lady, and she calling me a son of a bitch. I don't need... Jose Caleon, come on! And we get the goal with the Spanish player. Sloppy. Oh, we can't get away with that. We can't get away playing like that in foot champs, boys. hold on to the victory in division number uh, in division number nine with our Premier League side. Now, I think it was a little bit of user error. We brought off uh, Martial. The moment we did that, everything seemed to change. Obviously, I don't think that was the difference, but uh, it, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it's not a coincidence. The fact that literally the second we brought him on, uh, brought him up, everything changed. 17 shots, 12 on target. First half, we absolutely crushed it. We get a uh, guaranteed promotion into division number eight. This is how the Serie A side is looking right now. We've got Henri, Papu Gomez at striker, and then Dybala up there at cam now i think we're fine rolling with him on uh we're fine rolling with him on i was gonna say we're fine rolling with him on nine but we do have the cm to cam uh, uh position change modifier which is coming in handy so he's currently up to 10 cam let's get into match number one of foot champs let's see if we can get ourselves division number let's see if we can get ourselves win number one in foot champs let's see if we can set the tone for the weekend and finally get ourselves gold one wow 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 he's got himself right back carlos puyol he's got costa got prime costa he's got 86 matuidi now, for this guy to have gotten himself an 86 Matuidi, he could have, look, that could very well be a gold one reward. But I'm gonna bet that maybe he finished elite for the month. I don't know why that sounds familiar. Alan, dude, I'm telling you, if you guys want to, you guys want to be CDM, Alan is your man. So we're happy to be up one nil right now. Five shots, two on target. Seven shots, three on target for me. But the defense has easily been the star of the show. Dude, Sandro, Manolas, Koulibaly, uh, Alan. Just everyone has been stepping to the plate. We need the, we need the offense to carry some of the load as well right now. Come on, let's get a goal early here. What? So, uh, are we ready to take a call? Wait, how did he miss that? Bro, I thought that was 1-1! One, one. doesn't satisfy you. I don't, I, I don't understand. I, I just, sometimes I just don't understand FIFA. Bro, Melito, whoever you are, whoever you are, bro, I'm so sorry about this game. I actually am just so sorry about it. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I don't deserve to win it. I mean, I think it should have been, it should have been level at some point easily. 
But I am so sorry for the way that this match actually just went. We get ourselves a 2-0 victory in Foot Champs match number one. Um, 9.5 for Gomez, 7.5 for Dybala, so not a great debut, but we do get a goal with Henri and Papu Gomez. A nice little chip at the end there. Melito, bro, if you're watching this for some reason, the match, the, the match stats I don't think do justice to what that actual game was. We managed to get ourselves the first win in foot champs, which is, obviously that's a trendsetter, it's not the most difficult achievement. My elo still hasn't been ranked, so you can come up against, like, you can still come up against a silver on average player um, at this point in, uh, in foot champs, but we do get ourselves a victory, a 2-0 victory, I will take it. First victory in foot champs and our first match with Paulo Dybala. Does he get himself an assist? No, nope. one game played, zero goals, zero assists. Uh, but we are going to spam most of the foot champs matches with this Serie A side. Hopefully we can do some work. You guys can keep with up. Uh, you guys can keep up with my progress on Twitter. I'll be tweeting up uh, some of the results uh, over the course of the day, over Friday and Saturday. And that is going to, my bros, conclude on Rita Glory, episode number eight. We opened up our foot champs monthly, our foot champs weekly, and managed to buy ourselves a 300,000 point player. Not something I thought we were going to be able to do this early on, but we are in fact a month into. Uh, into the series. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Hopefully you guys are enjoying Henri to Glory. That is Henri to Glory episode number 8. If you guys did enjoy hit that like button. Massively appreciate it as well. If you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below. That is going to conclude Henri to Glory number 8. Good luck with your packs. Good luck with your champs. Good luck with your drafts. Good luck with whatever you guys are doing in FIFA this weekend. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time bros. Tschüss. Later. Adieu.